It's now time to learn the next uh, neat trick for uh, reference counters. But before we do that, uh, one thing uh, I forgot was uh, standard mem drop. This, uh, you know, we've been using this to, uh, to drop uh, variables that are on the heap, like strings and things like that. And, uh, you know, you put like my string inside there and now it's gone. Actually, this is uh, imported into the prelude. So uh, you don't have to write standard mem. You can just write drop, so that is uh, that's less typing. And I was thinking about uh, why, um, because I have uh, written before that that it's in the prelude, and uh, you know why do I keep on writing standard mem drop? And that's um, that's like a personal preference of mine. Uh, whenever I uh, whenever I see the the full path and see that you know drop is uh, is located inside mem inside the standard library, then it. Uh, it kind of makes me think, okay, what else is inside mem? Drop is pretty cool. Is there anything else inside there? And you can kind of like start to get a, an image of the uh, the standard library inside your head. And I kind of uh, enjoy doing that. But, uh, you know, you don't have to do that. And uh, so the normal uh, practice is just to write drop. And so that is what we're going to do from now on. So uh, let's get back to uh, reference uh, counters and ref cells. So you might um, be wondering, um, you know, a ref cell lets you, and cells, uh, they, they let you modify the, uh, the content inside uh, of something, even if it's, uh, it's not uh, mutable. And a reference counter gives uh, multiple owners. So you might be wondering, can I combine them? And the answer is, yes, you can. So uh, let's, let's do that and see what it looks like. So we'll bring in uh, reference counters RC, and then uh, ref cell is inside of cell. So we have brought them into scope. So let's um, let's think about how that works. Uh, the way that you um, that you do that is um, it works like this. So you have a uh, let's say you have a string. You have a string, and then you uh, you wrap it in a ref cell. So now you can uh, now you can modify the ref cell, and then on top of that, you put an RC around it. So you can have uh, multiple owners. So this is a string that can be modified by more than one owner if you clone the uh, the pointer to the ref cell, which we've been doing. So that um, and when you declare it, it uh, it's pretty pretty long. Uh, it looks like this. So we have a uh, RC new inside of that. You have a ref cell new, and inside of that you have a string new, and then I am a string like that. Uh, if that looks kind of long, you can uh, you can do this, or you can do let's say let's my let my string equals uh, you know, string dot new new. You can do this uh, separately. Uh, I am a string, you know, just if you want to make it more readable, and then we can put in. Uh, my string inside there, my string, and instead of uh, calling it my string, we're now going to call it, uh, I want to call it Mr. Ref, Mr. Ref. So we'll make this thing, and it's a, uh, it's a ref counter with a ref cell, so we're calling it uh, Mr. Ref. So we're going to take Mr. Ref, and we're going to put it into this uh, function called, uh, let's call it add bang, like, a, like an exclamation mark. So we will give it the uh, give it some input, and this is going to be an RC ref cell string. So we give it uh, you know the same type as this, and it will take this and it will uh, take that input. And actually, let's uh, let's create a reference first. So uh, let's say my ref equals input dot uh, borrow mute. So you remember this is the function uh, with uh, with a ref cell where you get a, uh, you make this uh, dynamic mutable reference and then you can uh, use that to change the value. And then we are going to uh, take my ref and we're going to push an exclamation mark like that. And that is all we're going to do. So then we'll take that and uh, so it's called add bang. So we'll take that and we are going to put a clone of the RC in there. So we're going to take Mr. Ref and we're going to uh, clone the pointer. So uh, we've got uh, 
you know, Mr. Ref is sitting here with uh, with one owner right now, one uh, one strong uh, strong uh, pointer, and then uh, and then uh, we're going to clone it, and then now Ad Bang is uh, is also owning it, and uh, it's going to uh, add this exclamation mark, and then after that it's going to go back down to one, and then uh, let's see what it looks like. So let's print out Mr. Ref. And Mr. Ref should say, I'm a string with a, with an exclamation mark. Let's see, I did not type fn. Let's try that again. Function add bang. String, of course, that's not the new, should be from. You use a, you know, a new string is a string with nothing inside it. And uh, what else? Uh, what else did I miss? RC new ref cell new string from once again. Okay. So this. Uh, oh wait no. Ref cell new. Let's try that again. I'm a, I'm a lazy typer today. There we go. So. Uh, just to see what we fixed, uh, I changed. Uh, so this is a string, so we're just throwing in the string, and then uh, ref cell new, rc new, and so there you go. You can see it. Um, so it goes into the function. It's uh, and so it can, you know, at this point it has uh, two owners, and we can uh, we can prove that by uh, printing out the strong count. So actually, not strong count. Let's just say number of owners, and we'll do that. And uh, you do RC strong count and uh, reference to input. And then we're going to, uh, after we do add bang, we're going to uh, do the same thing. And let's see how many owners there are. So uh, Mr. Ref. So it should say uh, two and then it should say one. And you can see, so it does work. So uh, right here, it's got one, then uh, we clone the pointer, it's got two owners, it goes into here. The function does what it, uh, what it needs to do, and then uh, it drops it, goes back to one, and then Mr. Ref is back to being a, uh, a string inside a ref cell, inside a reference counter, that counts uh, one, one owner.